What's up, everybody? Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 31, the final day of albums that are 30 years old in 2024. We've been looking back on 1994 all month long, 31 days, 31 of our favorite albums across all genres that are celebrating 30th birthdays and anniversaries here this year. And of course, as we see, Today's pick, my final pick for the month, is the debut studio album from this great German progressive metal band, released in 1994, recorded at Rocco Sound Studios in Hesse, produced by the band and Robert Kohlmeier for Limb Records, Color Temple by Vandenplaz, right? One of the leading prog metal bands of the last 30 years it's their debut studio album they've got lots of albums since they got a brand new one coming out in just a couple of weeks and they have been consistently really really great all the way through their discography i would highly recommend those of you who like a little bit of prog metal maybe listen to dream theater or symphony x or camelot or a couple other bands and want to want some something new that they haven't heard before if you haven't heard van and plaz i'd be surprised if you're a prog metal fan and you haven't but in case you haven't I highly recommend checking them out. And you know what? You could probably start from this album and work your way up because they're all really good. This album contains the lineup of Andy Kuntz on lead vocals, backing vocals, terrific singer, and a really original sounding vocalist too. Stefan Lill on guitars, backing vocals. Gunther Werno on keyboards, backing vocals. Andreas Lill on drums and percussion. Torsten Leikert on bass also helps with production. And then, of course, producer Robert Kohlmeier helps with backing vocals. Miriam uh, Bonachand also on backing vocals. So, yeah, the band helps produce the album along with Robert. Killer stuff here. What do we got on this album? We've got The Great Father kicks things off. Big, bright, symphonic, chugging, heavy. Push is a killer tune, one of the heavier tracks on the album. Love that quite a bit. When the Wind Blows, My Crying, Soul Survives, shows the band adding those melodic touches that they do so well. It's melodic, symphonic, nice vocal harmonies, really good. Uh, Anytime is another killer song. Judas, as you can imagine, one of the heavier tracks on the album. Really good stuff. Back to Me is Killer. And then How Many Tears, the final track, Atmosphere, little bits of acoustic guitars, nice keys. Picks up the pace, right? Epic sounding stuff. Andy just soaring over the top of it all. You know, this this is one of those bands that they uh, they do all the flourishes that you like from prog metal. Lots of solos from the guitars and keys, but it's not a 100% chops fest, right? More about the songs and the melodies and things like that. Really, really strong, strong opening statement from this band that uh, I highly recommend. You check out if you haven't already. Of course, no certifications or charting position stuff for this, but uh, still in prog metal, a much beloved band and a very, very, very strong debut. So I would highly recommend folks check this out if you haven't. Let's move into the honorable mentions, shall we, for the stuff that didn't quite make my top 31, but love them nonetheless. All right, Tesla, bust a nut. Very strong album from the Tesla Boys. Really good stuff. Uh, Tom Petty Wildflowers. This this kind of was in my original top 31. This kind of got squeezed out a little bit. I do like Wildflowers. It's not one of my favorite Wild uh, Tom Petty albums, but I do like it. There's a lot of really good songs on there. It's a very personal album for Tom. I do dig it. Uh, ZZ Top Antenna. Strong album for them. Sodom, the great, speaking of Germany, the great German thrashers. Get What You Deserve. Very solid record from them. Uh, Stradivarius, Dream Space. More prog metal, very strong early album from Stradivarius, Timo Tolki and company. Uh, how about Transylvanian Hunger by Dark Throne? I know a lot of my extreme metal fans who are probably watching definitely, I'm sure, had this in their top 31. Uh, a great, great Norwegian early black metal classic. Uh, speaking of black metal from the UK, Cradle of Filth, The Principle of Evil Made Flesh, one of their classic albums. Also from Norway, Enslaved, Frost, also was another one that just on the periphery of making my top 31 list. I like Frost quite a bit. In Flames, Lunar Strain, more stuff from Sweden, right? Great early melodic death metal. Cannibal Corpse, The Bleeding, death metal classic. Uh, Traffic, Far From Home. This was a you know reunion album for them. It's good stuff. It comes more across for me, more like a Steve Winwood solo record, but I still think it's it, there's some good stuff on there. I don't mind it. Uh, Mayhem, 
De Mysterious Satanus, of course, one of the classic black metal albums of all time, a Norwegian classic. I don't hold it in as high regard as a lot of friends of mine who are really into black metal. Uh, I just, it's it's groundbreaking for what it is. The vocals just never sat well with me. Um, I just, uh, but, you know, musically and, and what it stands for, absolutely respect it, 100%. Um, but I know some folks who are really into extreme metal, this would have been a no-brainer for their top 31. I totally get that. Uh, Overkill, WFO. Another solid record from Overkill. Uh, the Cult, self-titled The Cult. Good return to form for them. Strong album. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. It's Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, After the Storm. Yngwie Malmsteen, The Seventh Sign. More black metal from Norway. Satyricon, The Shadow Throne. Good early album from them. Uh, Slayer, Divine Intervention. Not one of their top albums, but solid record in their catalog. Uh, also from Sweden, The Edge of Sanity. Purgatory Afterflow, Edge of Sanity, of course, the great uh, death metal band, progressive death metal band uh, run by Dan Swano. Testament, Low, one of their heavy, heavy albums. Alice Cooper, Last Temptation, strong album from Alice. Cinderella, Still Climbing. Dimu Borgia, more Norwegian black metal for Altid, very cool early album from them. Uh, Big Big Train, Goodbye to the Age of Steam. Strong early album from Big Big Train. Of course, the British Proggers. Uh, At the Gates, Terminal Spirit Disease. More melodic death metal from Sweden. Annihilator, King of the Kill. Veteran Canadian Thrashers. Strong album from them. Fu Manchu, No One Rides for Free. Right, the great California stoner rock and metal band debut album. I dig it. Incantation, Mortal Throne of Nazarene, classic American early death metal from John McEntee and company. Uh, Vader, Sothis, killer death metal album from the German death metal act Vader. Threshold, Psychedelic Tessin, excellent UK progressive metal bands and one of their classic early albums. Uh, Symphony X, Symphony X self-titled, not an enormous fan of them without Russell Allen. I think the music is fine. I'm not crazy about their first singer, but uh, there's some good early kind of like uh, neoclassical speedy metal on there. It's before the band really kind of embraced their prog metal roots. Uh, Boston, Walk On. Decent enough album, right? Good stuff on there. Meshuggah, None. More Swedish extreme metal, technical metal. Meshuggah never released a bad album. Uh, Magnum, Rock Art. Not one of their more celebrated albums, but still, Magnum also never released a bad album. It's good stuff on there. Tony McAlpine, Premonition. Awesome instrumental metal fusion, whatever you want to call it, from Tony. Roy Nestalt, The Flower King. That's where The Flower Kings began. That's the blueprint right there. Roy Nestalt's solo album from 1994. Uh, collage, Moonshine, great Polish prog band, neo-prog band. Moonshine is their absolute classic. Citizen Kane, great UK prog band, Somewhere But Yesterday. If you like early Genesis, Peter Gabriel era Genesis, there you go. Uh, After Crying, Fold S. Egg, great Hungarian prog band right there. Mike Keneally, Boil That Dust Speck. Of course, Mike Keneally, Beer for Dolphins, former Frank Zappa guy, awesome instrumentalist, singer, songwriter. Land Burke, One Man Tells Another. Great Swedish prog. David Torn, Polytown. Killer fusion record right there from the great guitar player David Torn and company. Psychotic Waltz, Mosquito. The early prog metal bands from the early 90s. Rolling Stones, Voodoo Lounge. I you know not a lot of you had that on your list. Uh, I dig Voodoo Lounge. Not quite enough to make my top 31, but I do want to recognize. And then last but certainly not least, Woke Up With A Monster by The Great Cheap Trick. Nice return to form for them on this particular album. Good, raucous, just typical Cheap Trick type album. So there you go, everybody. Those are my honorable mentions. And my last pick, of course, tomorrow 
is starting the great comeback albums of all time. So I'm going to be all month long, 30 of what I consider uh, my favorite comeback albums from bands who either were away for a really long time or overcome some kind of diversity or maybe released a really crappy album that nobody really liked and then came back with their next one and knocked it out of the park. Or maybe they had a major lineup change or a death in the, in the band, right? And they had to replace a key member and they did and they knocked it out of the park, right? Or, you know, whatever the reason might be that's, that they came back from adversity, some kind of adversity or really lengthy spell of inactivity and just boom, they were back in a big way. So that's coming up starting tomorrow, April 1st. And uh, happy Easter, everybody. For those of you celebrating, it's Easter Sunday. This is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell to get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we get the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff as always. Hudson Valley Square is coming up tomorrow. Wednesday, new album review day, of course. Thursday, the Monsters Den. Friday morning, the Fun House with Martin Popoff. Saturday, UK Connection. And Sunday, ranking the albums of bread. So all that's happening this week. Don't miss any of it. We'll see you real soon. My P. Pardo. Again, happy Easter, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.